Today I'm recording from a completely different location as you can tell. I travel all the way from London to Wales to hike its biggest mountain, which is 1085 meters and it's called the Mount Snowdon. There is six tracks to take and I'm gonna take one of them which apparently is quite hard to do, so let's see how it goes. But they told me it's quite good for landscape photography. So today's gonna be very challenging because this morning I was taking the mountain forecast and they did say we're gonna have severe chill effects because of the strong winds of over 50 miles per hour and we're gonna have a lot of fog and it's bloody freezing. So I'm gonna attempt to hike all of this, all the mountain till the end and take landscape photography which is so long I don't do it. My friend is in the other side of the camera to help me to record this. So this adventure is gonna be a bit messy because as a beginners we're gonna hike in bad conditions with so much gear and cameras around to vlog it and take landscape photography. This is the amazing landscape and you can see here we were there and it doesn't look too far maybe but it's quite far and quite high and this is the massive fog we are having today and the amazing landscape it's incredible I think I prefer it this way because it's more moody Okay, it's so windy right now. I don't even know how long we've been like hiking because we stopped to take pictures. It's not even a quarter of the hike and I'm already dead <laughs> because I'm not used to it anymore. And a part of that, I'm having so much gear on my back, the drone, the tripods. My friend is helping me as well with the gear and even like that, well, <laughs> we're surviving. The good part is like, it's not raining yet at least. It's very um, foggy up there. So let's see how it goes because that's very dangerous and it's what is worrying me the most. I can be cold, it can rain, but the fog is very dangerous because you can get lost. We have a map in paper because you cannot rely on phones neither and we are so new on this. So let's see what happens. Um, but later it's gonna be better pictures because we can see massive lakes from the top. So I'm looking forward for that guys. And uh, also I'm gonna try to take some self portraits for stock photography. And they are very natural lifestyle shots and are the ones that sell the most. So every time you go around hiking with your family, camping, whatever, take pictures thinking about the stock photography. This is a massive tip. And I'm gonna call Ryan guys because this was a nice break, but I have to keep going. So we arrived to this place and believe it or not, there is lakes and I promise you it was super beautiful and as soon as we took the camera, the fog came in and you cannot even see it and there was an amazing picture there guys, I really wanted to be there and saw the whole scenery and uh, we cannot do it anymore <laughs> because I'm not gonna wait here till it passes because it's getting thicker and thicker. I'm sorry you cannot even see in the image, now the lake. So I don't know what's gonna happen guys, I'm gonna keep doing it but it's so, so not visible. Look at this. So I don't know guys, <laughs> when I keep walking and hopefully we can take pictures, I'm very pissed off because uh, it was beautiful five minutes ago. Anyway, that's what happens when the conditions are not great. So anyway, let's go. Oh. 
Okay, so I had to take a break because I'm dying. <laughs> Look how foggy it is. So I sat down for a bit. I'm gonna rest five minutes because otherwise we have to go back. It's gonna get dark and it's impossible to go down if it's dark and this foggy. It's very scary to be fair, so I just wanna get to the top. I think we have around half an hour more and then make sure we go back um, and hopefully take some pictures. I think I'm gonna have to embrace the weather and take some moody shots because you cannot see the ballet, you cannot see the lakes at all. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, we need to find the route again because it's <laughs> between blogging, trying to find photography spots and go through these rocks is very hard. So it's very hard to don't break the camera actually to be with you guys and <laughs> take the beautiful scenery, but you cannot see much. So we're gonna keep going and hoping we're gonna find the trail back because we got lost a little. So we're gonna keep going, hoping we're gonna see someone and we can find the track again. Okay, so we found the trail. You can see now it's quite clear. There is a lot of fog, but this you can find. The problem was before, because there is so many rocks. In some point, you don't know, you have to go up left, go up right, <laughs> go up front, because you don't see, and it's just rocks. So there is not a clear path. So this is quite dangerous, but now we are not doing so bad for being beginners. But the thing is like the fog, as you can see here, there you go. In theory, you have so many mountains there and the valley, and you don't see anything, and it's quite close. Freaking dead. I had to stop to eat to drink water. We had to sit down and we're almost there. But look, this is the famous chilling effect. It's so windy and so foggy that it becomes like ice. <laughs> I've never been in these conditions. It's getting so dark. Forget about the lake. I don't think it's gonna happen. We are in the summit, the weather is so bad, in theory you can see Ireland, you can see 14 peaks of the highest mountains of Wales and you can see 18 lakes and you can see nothing, so it was a total fail but we managed to take some uh, moody shots which are super cool but unfortunately we couldn't manage to take the classic shot of the lakes in Wales, it's not gonna happen in this trip guys because I promise you I'm not gonna repeat this anytime soon because it's super tiring guys but mostly what I want to tell you with this video is like if you are doing a trip if you are doing something change your camera but don't get pissed off about the conditions trust me so bad and just embrace the weather and if you cannot take those kind of shots take another at least I have moody shots and I don't have those touristic and very famous shots so I have something different at least anyway guys I hope you enjoy comment below subscribe to my channel if you didn't yet and yes see you very soon probably down or in London again Ciao!